Hi everybody, here's a little bonus video for you. You may have noticed that Google Forms saves the responses in a text format, such as not at all and a little. When you're doing statistical analysis on survey results or entered data, you're probably going to want that to be a number. So for instance, I love it might be a 5, not at all might be a 1. So I'm going to show you today two different ways that you can convert the data in this spreadsheet from text to numbers. The first is the simplest way, and that's just to use Find and Replace. So in Excel, or you can do this in Google Sheets as well, under the Edit menu, choose Find, and then select Replace. All right, so I'm going to look at column C here, and I'm going to replace the word female with the number 1. So if I say Replace All, what it will do is it will convert the two words female into one. Now I'm going to come here and do male and convert male to two. And again, replace all. Now be careful when you're doing replace all. For instance, I had female and male. If I had converted male first, let me just show you how that works. Let's say I'm doing the same find and replace and I decided to do male first and replace it with two, and I choose replace all, you'll see that what it did was it converted the word male to a two, but female also contains the word male, and it converted that to a two as well. So be careful about the texts that you're using because they may not always do what you want them to do. And that's why find and replace works well for some things, but not for everything. All right, because of this, I want to show you an alternate method, and that's using the vertical lookup tool. And that's done using a separate spreadsheet tab. So down at the bottom, I'm just going to choose Insert Sheet. And here, I'm going to put all of my possibilities for my second question. You might remember that in my original form, these were my choices. Not at all, a little, a lot, and I love it. So I need to come up with numerical equivalents for those. So I'm going to type in not at all. All right, so I have all of those written down. And not at all will be one, a little will be two, a lot will be three, and I love it will be four. All right, so this is my very first one. I can even insert a row here and give it a header and we'll call it Likert questions. So that's what I have there. Down here, I might make another one called yes, no questions, of which yes will be one, no will be two, and maybe, if there is such a thing, will be three. All right, so I've just created all of these different answer sets. Make these bold to make them a little easier to see. All right. Once I've done this, the next important thing is that I need to select each table like this and sort the first column in alphabetical order. I know that seems strange, but in order for this formula to work, that's what you need to do. So I've just selected this little bit here and under data, I'm going to choose sort and I'll sort by Likert questions and OK. So now it's put them in order. I'm going to do the same thing here. Highlight this, sort. I'm going to sort by the column A, and there we go. So now my columns are all sorted, and I'm ready to go through and do my formula now. All right, so let's drop back into our initial form, and I'm just going to create a new column here. So I'll select this column, I'll do a control click and say insert, and it's just going to insert a blank column for me. Now my formula is a VLOOKUP or a vertical lookup, so I'm going to say equals VLOOKUP. And what's the value that I'm looking up? Well, the value is going to be whatever answer is here where, and then I'll do a comma, because that's what it says to do here. Now the next thing is, where am I going to look this up? 
So I'm going to come down to the bottom and click on Sheet 2. And I'm going to select this table here. Notice I've not included the header up here for this table, just the answers that I want. And then when I hit comma again, the next one it's going to ask me is for my column index number. That's the number that I want it to deliver, which is this column here. And you would think that that's column B, but actually it is the second column of the table array. So the number that I'm going to put is 2. All right, so I have VLOOKUP, the cell that I want to look up, which is D2, my table array, which is on the second sheet, and that's A through B5, and then which column do I deliver, and that's the number 2. And I'm just going to hit Enter. And now you can see that it has delivered that number. Now, I'd like to copy this all the way down, but you can see when I do that, what it'll do is it'll change my table array, and I don't want that to happen. My table always needs to be A2 through B5 for this type of question. So how can I fix that? I'm going to go back to the original one, and all you need to do is in front of the A, type a dollar sign, in front of the 2, type a dollar sign, and do the same thing for B5, and then enter. What that does is that makes it an absolute reference as opposed to a relative reference, and your formula is going to work. So now when I copy it down, you'll see that it auto-fills numbers for each of those. And now I have my number in this column. So here's my text, and here's my corresponding number. All right, let's do the same thing here. We're going to insert. And this time, I can just copy these and paste them in. So those are the two ways that you can substitute numbers for the text that you get through Google Forms.